الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا أما بعد then we have reached الحديث السادس الحديث السادس the sixth hadith right the sixth hadith عن أبي عبد عن أبي عبد الله النعمان ابن بشير رضي الله عنه أب became أبو right when we attached Abdullah to it because whenever you attach a pronoun or you make it mudaf such as Abu Abuhu right Abuka you have to add a wow there for when it's more full. It became Abi after An. <coughs> Abdullah. This is Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. Abdul Abdullah. Allah Lafu Jalala. Here is Mudaf Ilay. And Nu'man is a replacement of a battle for Abi. Because we could just say An Nu'man. And it's Majroor. Ibni. You could just say on Ibn Bashir. You could just say on the son of Bashir. So therefore it's Majroor after An or as a battle for Abi. And Bashir, Mudaf, Mudaf Ilay, Radiallahu Anhuma. Because Nu'man and Bashir, both of them were Muslims, we say Radiallahu Anhuma. Qala, he said, Sami'tu. I heard. I heard what? Rasulullah maf'ulun bihi mansub I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqulu I heard him saying inna al-halal bayyin wa inna al-haram bayyin indeed the halal al-halal is mansub after inna it's called ismu inna mansub bayyin Khabaru inna marfu. Right? In al halal, indeed the permissible matter, the permissible things, bayin, are clear. From ba ya noon, bayin. They're clear. Wa inna al harama bayin. And indeed the haram is bayin, the same breakdown. Haram is ismu inna, mansu. Bayin, khabaru inna, marfu. Wabayna huma and between the two of them huma meaning the two the two meaning halal and haram umurun mushtabihat are matters which are mushtabihat as you guys were talking about sheen baha meaning something which causes or might be doubtful right Things which are things which are unclear, right? Not necessarily doubtful. Is it haram or is it halal? Maybe from that point being doubtful, but not doubtful. Is it halal or is it? But unclear. Is it halal or is it haram? Matters which are unclear. لا يعلمهن كثير من الناس لا يعلم he doesn't know هن them which shows that we're going against here with this هن we're going against the قاعدة or the rule that we learn that whenever we talk about matters which are غير عقل those which are unintellectual then we talk about them in the feminine singular. So it doesn't say la ya'lamuha. Ya'lamuha. I said that. I wrote that wrong. Ya'lamuha. It doesn't say that. Making it feminine singular. Rather right? it says hunna. Feminine plural. Which goes against the rule that we normally learn. As I said. So. The. We learn from that that the Quran and the Sunnah is not restricted to the book Al-Fiyat Ibn Malik. 
the Quran and the Sunnah, the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal, and the speech of His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and other than them are not restricted to the rules that Sibawe laid down. They're not restricted to the rules of al fayruz Abadi. They're not restricted to the rules of Ibn Hisham. They're not restricted to the rules of the Medina books written by Sheikh Fab the Rahim. They're not restricted to that. Rather, those books are written based upon the generality of what is found in the Quran and the Sunnah, and that there are exceptions to that. So, لا يعلمهن Right? كثيرون من الناس كثير is your fa'il here, marfu'a. Kathir is your file, is your doer. Most of the people, that's who the one who ya'lamu. Kathir la ya'lamu. Most, or not most, but many. Akthar would be most. Akthar nas would be most. Kathir here means many. Kathirum min nas Many from the people, they don't know them. They don't know these umurun mushtabihat. So far, you guys, in your analysis, were pretty good. <laughs> then, there came a little bit of issue in this next sentence. Faman, <laughs> so whoever, ittaqa. Again, the brother said, Abu Sumayya, he said, this is from taqwa, which is correct. Like, ittaqillah. فَمَنِ اتَّقَى شُبُحَات So whoever basically feared the shubuhat taqa No, this is a present tense but the form from waqa while qaf out of maqsura or ya that's how you would look it up اتَّقَى meaning to fear اتَّقَى taqwa is really to put a Taqwa is to put a, the real meaning of taqwa is to put a barrier between you and the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal, for example. That's fire, for an example, right? To put a wall, to put a wall or a barrier between you and the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal. That's the meaning of taqwa. When Allah says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ he prescribed fasting for you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ he, he prescribed tawheed for you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ All of this means that perhaps you may place a barrier between you and his wrath. Between you and his punishment. That's the meaning of taqwa. So, فَمَنِ taqa. And so how do you do that? You do it by fearing the punishment. So you place something between you and it. So you don't go and look at what you should not look at. Right? You place a barrier between you and that thing. Famanit taqa shubuhat. Shubuhat here is majroor. Because it is a gem mu'annath salam. It is a feminine sound plural. Shubha. Right? This ta marbuta here is Ta-tat-neeth. So, it's not broken when we add that alif in there. Rather, it's still sound. Shubha. Right? And sound feminine plurals, they're marfu' with a dhamma. And they're majroor and mensub with a kasra. So here, shubhat is the mensub because it is the object of the verb. Famanit taqa shubhat. For whoever fears the doubtful matters right faqad and this is where abdullah was right but abu sumaya wasn't following i guess at that he did, he, he wasn't following this should be a fata on the qaf faqad is stabra he was talking about here putting a, a kasra in order to link to the scene and you were talking about the sukun on the qaf faqad Meaning so, and Qad being an uh, emphasis here. Istabra'a. From Ba, Ra, Alif. 
We've had this word before, Abdullah. You say, I ain't never heard that word before. Well, <coughs> number one, we read the 40 hadith before. So you've had this word before. It's recorded, <laughs> and you've read it on recording, on tape. You read it. Yes, tomorrow. So therefore, you cannot say, I didn't hear it, right? فَقَدِ اسْتَبْرَأَ From ba ra alif Now, or Hamza. Now, this scene in this ta has a number of meanings. The scene in this ta doesn't always mean seeking, such as in istighfar or astaghfirullah like this. It doesn't always mean seeking. Rather, it has three or four mm -hmm. meanings. It has the meaning of seeking or demanding, like you said, in istaghfara, right? is right it also has a what they say a causative meaning such as istakhraja meaning to draw out istakhraja mustakhraj mustakhraj does not mean seeking something rather it means that it was done to it and here it also has a meaning of being denominative like such as Istahjara from the word ha jim ra like the word stone, right? Istahjara mm -hmm. meaning to petrify, right? Mm -hmm. Or istahlafa meaning to make someone the khalifa after you, right? To appoint someone as a successor, right? Mm -hmm. Istahlafa, the imam in the salat can do this istikhlaf if he for instance, breaks his wudu, or remembers that he didn't make wudu before salat, but we started the salat. Yastakhlifu, meaning he puts, he calls someone up to lead the salat in his place, right? So, here, bara'a means to be free from, as you said, to disassociate, but it's not just to disassociate, it means to be free from. As shaitan says, ana bari un mink. I am free from you, right? I am free no. from you. Bari only doesn't mean I'm disassociating with you, although that's what he means. He means I'm just so I'm, I don't got nothing to do with you. I'm free from you, and I'm, I'm disassociating from you. But the word disassociating we wouldn't necessarily use here. So when we're translating, we have to like not be, we'll say rigid, and I I myself fall into this, you know, not be rigid in the meaning right mm -hmm. of the english word so we have to try to find out and, and bounce around uh and find a, a an appropriate english word for it so istabra'a here it means to basically he has claimed freedom or he has shown freedom right or something along this line lidinihi wa irdihi for his religion and his honor so he has basically he has claimed freedom. He has he had not claimed it, but he has like shown that his religion and his he has it's as if he has protected it. For men taqa so whoever fears the doubtful matters, faqad istabra ali dini he wa irdihi. Then he has, then he has, like shown a a a freeness. A, 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 uh, like, I'm trying to figure out a word without translating it. He has shown that he is not, uh, to be blamed, right? In his religion and his, his honor. Woman waqa'a, and whoever falls, fi shubuhat. Here, shubuhat is the exact same word as over here. But in the first one here, it is mensub with a kasra because it's the maf'ulun bihi, the object of the verb. Here is majroor with a kasra because it's after harf jar, fi. So they look exactly the same. We said yansub wa yajur fi bi kasra. That it becomes mensub and majroor with a kasra. Woman waqa'a fi shubuhat and whoever falls in the doubtful matters waqa'a fil haram he falls in, he falls into the haram 
Karai, Karai, as we said, as Abusumaya said, that's a shepherd. Karai, right? The shepherd, Yara, who herds, right? Who herds, Hawl al Hima. Hawl means around, right? So if you have a house here and the kids are playing and they're going around that like this, Hawl al Bait. They're going around it. Hawl al Hima. Hima comes from Ha Mim Ya or Aleph Maksura. And it means is a verb, it means to guard or to protect. But Hima is a protected place. A place which is protected. Like we could say, since we're talking about shepherds here, a wildlife preserve or something like that, right? Something that is protected. You can't hunt except with permission. You can't enter onto that land except with permission. This is a Hima. You cannot do any of these things. They are protected. Karai yara hawl al hima yushiku from shek. Right? It is feared. Right? It is feared. From shek is doubtful. Uh, uh, uh. No, not doubtful. Not shek. I'm sorry. I messed up. Uh, from washaka. Wow, sheen, calf. Wow, sheen, calf. Meaning, it, it is uh, on the point of or on the verge of, right? He is close to, right? We have a yushiku from wow, sheen, calf. Meaning that it, it is almost. It is almost, or it could be, on the on the verge of, and yarta'a fihi. So we have a shepherd. He has a bunch of sheep, right? And there's a hima, right? And he took his sheep, hawl al hima. He took them close. Yushiku, meaning they're almost, and yarta'a. Yarta'a meaning from Ra'ta'ain meaning to graze, meaning they're going to eat. Yarta'a fihi. Yarta'a is mensub after N. Normally it would be Yarta'u. But Yarta'a after N. So they would graze in it. It's almost that they're going to graze in that Hima and enter past that. That wall there. Ala. Here's a like an exclamation. Ala. It's like oh and oh. Like this. Something like that. Wa inna li kulli malakin himan. Wa inna and verily li kulli. Belongs. Here the li is for belongs to. For him. To him. We say belongs to or has. Li kulli malikin. Every malik has. Every malik belongs to him. Right? Every king malik. Himan. He has a protected area. Every king has a protected area. Allah. Again. <coughs> like and oh or some type of exclamation. Wa inna hima Allah, and verily the protected area, the guarded area, the preserved area of Allah. Mudaf mudaf ilay. Maharimuhu are his prohibited matters. Maharimu, muharram from the word haram. Maharimuhu those things which he prohibited. Okay. Allah, again, this like, oh, wa inna fil jasadi, wa inna fil jasadi, Allah is like getting your attention, right? But Allah, oh, getting your attention, wa inna fil jasadi, in the body, 
Jasad is the body. Fil Jasadi Mudga. Mudga, we just had it in hadith number four, the hadith as Sadiq al Masduq. The hadith yeah. of as Sadiq al Masduq. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, he narrated that the Prophet informed us about what happens in the womb, right? With the janine, with the fetus. It becomes a mudga, a piece of flesh, like a chewed up piece of flesh. But here it doesn't mean chewed up, but it means a piece of flesh. Well, in the filjasadi mudga. And then there's in the body a mudga, a piece of flesh. Either salahat, either is if salahat from salaha yaslahu, meaning to become good. Salahat, if it is good, if it is sound, if it is rectified, salah al jasadu kulluhu, then the whole body becomes rest, uh, ju- rectified or good. Jasadu kulluhu, kullu here is a adjective, the body, all of it, salaha becomes good. Right? Wa idha fasadat. And if it becomes facid, if it becomes corrupted and ruined and 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 foul, what either fasadat, right? What do you call food when it expires? Like it expires when it's called expired, calls like rotten, right? But either fasadat, fasadal jasadu kulluhu. And if it becomes spoiled and rotten, fasadal jasadu kulluhu. Then the whole body becomes corrupt or spoiled or rotten. Allah again, wahiya al qalb, wahiya al qalb, and it is the heart. Right, and it, this piece of body is the heart. Now, why is it saying al qalb? Is qalb muannas? The flesh. <laughs> yeah. No, but is qalb muannas? Is it feminine? Because it says. فَإِذَا صَلَحَتْ No. قَلْبِ is مُذَكَّر Meaning is masculine. But we're talking about the mudga. The mudga. This piece of flesh. إِذَا صَلَحَتْ Right? If it becomes rectified. If it becomes good. If it becomes healthy. Right? وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ Again, going back to the mudga. Right? Otherwise, that the word قَلْب is feminine. I mean masculine. This hadith is narrated by Bukhari and Muslim, right? So, in al halal bayin, well, in al haram bayin, the halal is clear and the haram is clear. Wa bainahuma umur mushtabihat, and between the two, there are matters which are unclear. La yadamuhunna kathirum min al nas. Many of the people they don't know them. فَمَنِ اتَّقَى شُبُحَاتِ So whoever fears the, the doubtful matters, the unclear matters, فَقَدْ اسْتَبْرَأَ لِدِينِهِ وَعِرْدِهِ Then he has... I will somebody say he lost audio. I don't know. We... Right on that attempt to go out and come back in. فَقَدْ اسْتَبْرَأَ Then he has basically claimed uh, freedom. He has claimed innocence for his religion and his honor. وَمَنْ وَقَعَ فِي شُبُحَاتِ Whoever falls into the doubtful, unclear matters. وَقَعَ فِي الْحَرَامِ Okay, okay, right there. I see you put a lot of that in there. The doubtful unclear matters i know it's talking about that back there but if you just translate says you know whoever falls into the doubtful yeah you wouldn't translate like that you wouldn't translate like that okay you know you, you, no one would okay. understand it. whoever falls into the doubtful whoever falls into the unclear none of you it wouldn't be it wouldn't be clear to the listener well man walk off his shubu hat Right? Waqa fil haram. Who's going to fall into the haram? 
Karai Yara Haulul Hima. Like the shepherd who herds around the protected area. Almost here, the forbidden area. You can almost say here, right? Yushiku and Yartafihi. It's they're on the verge of grazing in it. Right? It's on the verge that they're going to graze in that protected area. Allah wa inna li kulli malikin hima. Oh, at last, oh, at last, for every king, there is a protected or prohibited area. Allah wa inna hima Allah maharimuhu. Oh, the, the protected area of Allah, or the guarded area, the preserved area, the forbidden area of Allah is his are the things that he prohibited. Allah wa inna fil jasadi mudga. Oh, and there is a piece of body, a piece of flat. There is a piece of flesh in the body. If the salahat salah al jasadu kullu. If it is correct, then the whole, then the body, all of it is correct. Wa ida fasadat fasad al jasadu kullu. And if it is spoiled or whatever you want to say there, then the whole body is spoiled. Or whatever word you choose, rotten or corrupt. Allah wa al qalb. Oh, and it is the heart. Questions? Okay, so y'all stopped around right here. Y'all don't have too many mistakes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Let's read the hadith, inshallah. Abdullah. And Abi Abdullahi Nu'man ibn Bashir, radiallahu anhuma, kalla samittu Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yaqul, in al-halal bayin, bayin, wa in al-haram bayin, وَبَيْنَهُمَا أُمُورٌ مُشْتَبِهَاتٌ لَا يَعْلَمُهُنَّ كَثِيرٌ مِنْ نَاسٍ مِنْ نَاسٍ مِنْ نَاسٍ It should be مِنْ النَّاسِ with, with a fatta there for reading purposes, okay. right? مِنْ النَّاسِ فَمَا نِتْ فَمَا نِتْ تَكَا Exactly, it should be a fatta there for reading purposes فَمَا نِتْ تَكَا Kakashuhu Kashu for cut this tapura tapura ladini he wa irdihi. Wa man wak a fishu buhati wa wak a fil haram. Kawai ya a halal hima yushiku. And yata afi what un makin Allah wa inna himalahi mahari buhu Allah wa inna fil jasadi mutgadan mutgadan if the salahat salahal jasadu what if a fasadat the dal jasadu kulluhu Allah wa hiyal qalb Everybody think you have a sumaya? An Abi Abdullahi Mu'mani bin Bashiri radiallahu anhu Quran Samitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yakul Inna al-halala bayin وَإِنَّ الْعَرَامَ بَيِّلِ وَبَيْنَهُمَّ أُمُورُ مُشْتَبِئَاتٌ لَا يَعْلَمُهُنَّ كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ فَمَنِ اتَّقَى الشُّبْحَاتِ فَقَدْ اسْتَبْرَهَا لِدِينِهِ وَأَحْرِهِ وَقَوَى فِي شُبْحَاتِ وَقَوَى الْحَرَامِ كَالْرَاءِ يَرْهَا حَوْلَ الْحِمَى يُشِيقُ أي يرطع فيه ألا إن لكل ملك حمل 
anna wa inna himallahi maharimu hala wa inna fil jasadi mudga idha salahat salaha al jasadu kulluhu wa idha fasadat fasadal fasad fasad al jasadu kulluhu ala ala wa ala wa iyyam qul now we're going to read i have this uh from well, who is it dar mecca it's hard back the 40 hadith explanation by fozan translated i'm just going to read their translation so you can see what they said sometimes we might i haven't read it yet we might find it we don't agree with their translation right you might find it they just dressed it up a little bit to make the reading smoother you might find that you know you know we could have understood something better so abu abdullah nu'man ibn bashir radiyallahu anhu he said i heard the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying certainly that which is lawful is clear and that which is unlawful is clear but between these are ambiguous matters not known by many of the people So the one who refrains from the ambiguous matters has protected his religion and honor. But anyone who gets into the ambiguous matters soon get soon gets caught in the unlawful ones, like the shepherd who pastures around the sanctuary. He soon grazes into it. Listen. And that's what he translate Allah, like listen. Every sovereign has his sanctuary and certainly Allah's sanctuaries are his prohibitions pay attention that's the same thing Allah here right the body has has a morsel of flesh when it is upright all of the body is upright and when it is corrupted all of the body is corrupted and that is the heart right this so you have there no. his translation like it, not like it Look at yours. Figure it out. No problem. Sheikh Abdul Muslim Al Qasim he says, "Hadu al Hadithu aidan min usul al Din." This Hadith aidan also min usul al Din from the principles of the religion. Wahu wudu al Halal. Wudu al Halal. Wudu means the clarity or the plainness of the halal the clarity the obviousness of what is halal wa wuduhu al haram and the same thing clarity obviousness plainness of the haram in al halal bayyan wa wadih wal haram bayyan wadih this shouldn't be there right this should be here if it's going to be there in al halal bayyan the hal- the halal indeed the halal bayyan y- yani wadih it's clear wal haram bayyan wadih bayyan wadih they have the same meaning that's all he's saying wa hadha min fadlillah and this is from the favors or the blessings of allah wa bainahuma umurun mushtabihat mushtabihat And between them are matters which translated in there ambiguous right ambiguous bain al halali wal haram matters which are unclear right between the halal and the haram la ya'lamuhunna kathirun min an nas many of the people they don't know them ya'lamuha al ulama See now look at this. The Sheikh he says ya'lamuha following the principle. Right? The the ghair al-aqil we talk about in feminine singular. The prophet here he said ya'lamuhunna. Right? Me myself without trying to correct the Sheikh or anything, I would prefer to say what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, especially when explaining the hadith that he said, but Like we said, this is speech, and it and it doesn't matter because the there's there's the principle of this, and there's the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No problem. La yalamuhu, la yalamuha, 
العلماء the scholars the plural of alam muha the scholars know them وَبَعْدُ الْعَامَةِ Right? And some of the بَعْدُ Some الْعَامَةِ Some of the genera, the general, the masses, the general people. عَامَ The general people. Right? يَخْتَلِتُ عَلَيْهِ هَذَا مِنْ هَذَا يَخْ يَخْتَلِ Two from Kha Lam Ta. Right? Meaning to become mixed up. To become mixed up. When the men and women deal uh, are together, men and wing men and women intermingling, right? When we talk about the issue of men and women intermingling in Islam, right? Not you and your husband not you and your wife, but your your you and other women at work or other than that is called ikhtilat the mixing of the sexes ikhtilat right yakhtalitu yakhtalitu alayhi hadha min hadha this becomes mixed up upon him this from this it's mixed up to him Badul Amma, some of the general masses. It becomes mixed up. This from this. They don't know. This from this. They don't know. Right? Fahuna. So here, Huna is here. Yati al Alim. Here comes a scholar. Here comes the scholar. You may ye zu. You may ye. Zu. That's a shutdown at ya. You may yizu. Al halala min al haram. You may yizu al halala min al haram. He clarifies. You may yiz. He distinguishes. Right? He distinguishes. You may yiz. He distinguishes. Like the word temyiz. When a boy reaches or when a person reaches temyiz, he can pray even if he doesn't have puberty. He can pray. He can make hajj. He can do all of these things, right? Temyiz. Temyiz means the age of discernment or distinguish, the ability to distinguish. One of our Mashiach here, he said, how do we know when a person has temyiz? They said that they used to Give a, a kid a strainer, like you would strain the water off of spaghetti or something that you're cooking. And they would tell them, they'd go to the beach with the strainer and tell them, go, go fill this up with water and bring it to me. If he tried to fill it up with water, they say he doesn't have Tim Yee's yet. He's not smart enough. If he said, come on, man, this don't hold water. They say, okay, well, this boy he can no longer go around the women and stuff. He's able to start distinguishing this from that. Just we're going to start separating them and start holding them a little bit accountable like this. You may yes. Wait, fahuna, fabadun nas, badul ama, some of the general people, yakhtali tu alayhi hadha min hadha. It's mixed up upon him, it's confusing to him, this from that. فَهُنَا يَأْتِي الْعَالَمْ يُمَيِّزُوا الْحَلَالَ مِنَ الْحَرَامِ So here comes a scholar. He distinguishes between the halal and haram. فَمَا أَشْكَلَ فَمَا أَشْكَلَ From Sheen, Kaf, Lam. Meaning, causes him confusion. أَشْكَلَ عَلَى الْمُسْلِمْ So whatever. It... It's an issue. It causes confusion. For the Muslim, Yajibu alayhi, Yajibu alayhi, and yes, Allah. It's obligatory. Yajibu alayhi. It's obligatory upon him, and yes, Allah, to ask. 
right? It's obligatory for him to ask. Li ala here li is so or for the reason, right? Why be so that ala so that he does not ala yaqa fil amril muhar amril haram. He does not fall into a matter which is prohibited. The ala is like la yaqa. Ala an plus la becomes ala. This li, right? We put a lamb here, but this aleph that I wrote here becomes a hamza, right? So that he does not fall into a matter which is haram. He must ask. Clear? No. <coughs> Let me read this. Let's read this paragraph and then we'll stop there today, inshallah. We didn't read very much. That's because you guys had your own little, I'm going to figure this out, hadith session, mashallah. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. Halal hadith to Aiden. من أصول الدين وهو وضوح ما وضوح الحلال ووضوح الحرام إن الحلال بين واد والحرام واضح واضح you don't have to say well, that. You can say wa yeah, there. But yeah, I'm just well, letting you know that it's an adjective agreeing with bayin. I mean, bayin yeah. is an adjective basically, and wa is an adjective. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, haram, waham, well, haram, wa bayin. <coughs> what the? Uh, well, wa hadha min fa'lillah wa baydahuma. Umuri Mushtabuha Umurun 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 Mushtabuhata Bayin 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 has to agree with it, right? Okay. Bayun Bayun Halali Well Haram La Yatla Muhuna Kathirun minas minas mina mina nas Yatla Muh Yatla Muhal Ullama Wa Badul Amati Yahtali tu Alehi Hadha min Hadha Fahunna Yatil Alam You you may Zizul Halala من الحرام فما أشلها أشكل على المسلم يجب عليه أن يشأل لألا يقع في الأمر الحرام بين هذا الحديث أيضا من أصول الدين وهو وضوح الحلال ووضوح الحرام إن العلال بين واضح وإن والحرام بين بين واضح وهذا من فضل الله وبينهما أمور أمور متكابي مشتبهات بين العلال والعرام لا يعلمهن كثير من الناس يعلمها يعلمها العلماء وبعد العمة يختلط عليه آذى من آذى فهنا 
ياتي ياتي الغلام ياتي العالم يميز يميز الحلال من الحرام فما اشكل على المسلم يجب عليه ان يساله لان لان يقع في الامر الحرام It was good. It was good. Yeah. I mean, I, well, like, that's what you have to do, man. You get your Hans Word dictionaries out. You look at it. You figure it out. Alhamdulillah, no problem. The issue becomes, the issue becomes, if you try to translate a book, you know, you're not ready like this. However, you try to figure it out. But that's where I or someone better than me comes in and clarifies, right? One of the brothers said, Hima, I think that means sheep. No. Hima is a protected place, right? Yartai, it wasn't dealt with when you guys talked about it, you know? But you figured out most of it. Other than that, now we just gotta clarify this and this and that, and then you figure it out. And that's how that's how you get it. That's how you're going to learn, that's how you're going to grow by sitting down with your dictionary, trying to figure it out. One thing that I learned, man, many, many years, I just learned it like maybe two years ago, three years ago. I wish I had known it 20 years ago. One sister, she has a website for a bunch of books on Arabic and stuff like this. And she said a note about learning Arabic. She said, if I have to look up a word, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say underline or overline or circle that word that I look up, Kaida. Right? I'm gonna look that I'm gonna I'm gonna overline what a pencil say. I'm gonna overline or underline that word. That way if I have to look up that word again, I'm gonna see that I looked it up before. Right? So Qaida, I look it up once, I'll remember that word, no problem. But mushtabi, oh subhanallah, what does that mean? I don't remember it. I go back, I see the line there, I say, you know what? That word is a word that's going to come up more than once, and I didn't memorize it. Now I have to focus on it. So when you look up words in your dictionary, take a pencil, overline, underline, circle, whatever you want with that word nicely. Maybe it could be erased later on. That way you'll know that you looked up that word. If you find yourself looking up that word again, you say, subhanAllah, I didn't memorize it good enough. Or, this word's going to happen and come a lot of times. So, therefore, I need to focus on that word. Right? And then, therefore, you put it on a card or whatever it is you need to do to memorize that word. And that will help you tremendously in your use of the dictionary. Yeah. And if one of the things that always uh, rings my mind from Al-Hajj Malik Shabazz, formerly known as Malcolm X, they say, and, and we always talk about how eloquent he was and how, how, how good of a speaker he was and, and how intelligently he spoke. And we, if we remember, he read the dictionary two or three times from front to back when he was in prison. So there's nothing wrong with you taking that Heinz Ware dictionary and reading it like a book. You know, there's nothing wrong. You don't got to memorize every one, just like I'm sure. He didn't memorize every word in the English dictionary, but he became familiar with them. He became aware of them. The words that he liked, he used. The, the, he, you know, he might have written down. The Hans Ware Dictionary has phrases. For instance, you look up Mushtabi, you might find in Mushtabi, you might find a phrase, you know, uh, 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 related to that that you want to use, for example. Right? It's a phrase in the Arabic language. You might say, oh, I want to use that. So you write it down and you focus and you practice it until you memorize it. Like this. There's nothing wrong with you benefiting from the dictionary and reading it like that. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan.